An international symposium in North Queensland has been told efforts to stop overfishing will have a dramatic impact on the health of the Great Barrier Reef. Researchers say the government's controversial green zones have seen fish populations explode, which is good for the coral. Crown of thorn starfish, climate change and nutrient runoff are all well documented contributors to coral decline. But leading scientists say overfishing is one of the biggest and all too often ignored threats to the health of the Great Barrier Reef. When fish populations weaken, algae thrives and corals suffer. So there are multiple lines of evidence that corals are in decline, but these other monitoring programs are revealing other factors. Having identified clearly what the major threats are, we can then start looking at exactly how we can ameliorate those threats. A large amount of research is shifting from uncovering the causes of coral decline to how best it can be managed. Australia is a wealthy country and we have the, the resources uh, to look after our, our reefs probably better than any other country in the world. New research has found changes to fishing zones in the Great Barrier Reef is having an effect, allowing fish populations to replenish. Within about three years of the rezoning, the amount of fish within the new green zones almost doubled. So th that was actually a surprisingly fast uh, response. Scientists believe it's proof that action now will improve the resilience of the reef. If we're not damaging the reef directly through water quality or through uh, indirectly promoting crown of thorns outbreaks, um, then the reef will be much more resilient and may well be able to tolerate significant climate change going forward. Rosanna Kingson, Wind News.